Good morning. I am Rosie Miller. I represent VTA School in Funnabell Park and I'm going to do the class of social science for grade 4 E term 2 history learning from leaders. Unit 1 good leaders. Unit 2 life stories of leaders. Unit 1 good leaders. The qualities of a good leader is being honest, friendly, clever and fair. Honest. Be truthful and not lie. Friendly. Be kind to people. Clever. Have knowledge and think of how to do things. Fair. Treat everyone the same way. Leaders can be people who lead countries and big businesses and can also be ordinary people. Other qualities of a good leader, listen to people, works for the good of others, works with a team, has courage, is brave, dedicated and wholeheartedly committed, gives up anything for the good of others. We're going to over to Unit 2, Life Stories of Leaders. The Life Story of Nelson Mandela. The two important world leaders were Nelson Mandela and Mahatma Gandhi. Nelson Mandela was born on July 18, 1918 in Mvezu, a village on the banks of Mapashi River near Mtata in Transkai. He is a member of the Madiba clan, which was named after a Tembo chief who ruled in Transkai, and I am named Mandiba as a sign of respect. He attended school in the village of Kunu in Transkai. His teacher gave him an English name, which was Nelson, to replace his real name, Roli Shlala. What was Mandela's first job? Nelson Mandela was a lawyer and worked with Oliver Tambu. He became a lawyer because he wanted to help people who were suffering because of the unfair laws. Why did Nelson Mandela spend so many years in prison? Mandela and many other leaders were sent to prison because he organized protests against the apartheid government. Mandela said apartheid was wrong. Until 1994, only white people were allowed to vote and the government made laws that separated the white people from other races. This was the time of apartheid. When did Nelson Mandela get out of prison? Nelson Mandela was let, let out of jail in February 1990. Everyone said he must be let free as his only crime was demanding freedom and fairness in South Africa. When was Mandela president of South Africa? Nelson Mandela became president of South Africa in 1994. He was the leader of the ANC and most of the people voted ANC and that is how he became president. What did Nelson Mandela do after he stopped being president? Mandela retired in June 1999. He raised money for charities, including the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. He helped to bring the 2010 FIFA World Cup to South Africa. <music> 